have to say matters. I've had experiences where I underestimate my voice because of the simple underlying belief that my voice doesn't matter. So, what if you do matter? This question that has been on my mind lately as I navigate this new year, and I wanted to talk about it. In my life, I've had many a times where I've been afraid to speak up or thought that what I had to say wasn't important and relevant and of value. I just wanted to dissect why that is. I feel as though what I have to say doesn't matter. Two things can be true at once. You can on one hand be a confident person and carry yourself accordingly, but also have moments where you don't believe in yourself. Like this is just the human experience. And it's okay like, to sometimes feel that way. I just think that we, we should recognize it and acknowledge that. A quote that I love that I read once by Eartha Kitt that says, my recipe for life is not being afraid of myself afraid of what I think or of my opinions. I ponder on this question to understand the root cause. I find myself thinking back to childhood and even adolescence. The emotions that would arise when I say that something dumb or stupid, so I thought, and maybe what made it worse was the reactions of others. Whether intentional or unintentional, we know this, right? It's this feeling of being worthless, unimportant, a waste of space that clouds our judgment, that forces us into the belief that we should silence ourselves. I think there's even a subconscious part of me that hates to admit that I still battle with these feelings of questioning how I'm perceived and if what I say sounds intelligent. The fear that I'm not complete if, if I have to admit that I lack in certain areas, which I'm human, so it's natural it's like I, I shouldn't fear being having a humanity we should never apologize or feel apologetic when it comes to who we are how we think and the foundation of our soul it is our very essence i know confidence isn't something that is unwavering and falter at times and that's okay but what i'm trying to discuss is shrinking in times when we would shine speaking up when it matters and when we feel the nudge to do so being the most unapologetic version of ourselves and exposing our most authentic selves is what gives others the freedom to do so as well. The less we judge others, the less judgment we have towards ourselves. So this year is a rededication to opening up myself as much as I can so that it leads to growth. No more bashful shyness or shying away from who I am or what I stand for. It's easier to hide in the shadows and convince yourselves or subconscious that you don't matter. Because if you don't matter, then there's less pressure to be great, to be more than you can ever imagine. It's like that powerful quote by Marianne Williamson. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Because if we surprise ourselves and actually bring light to that which we are capable of, then the pressure and the desire to be great forces us to be responsible for the amount of work we put in towards what comes next, our biggest plight. And then the real work begins. So this is a nudge to anyone who's watching this. The resistance you feel towards whatever goals you have in this, in this new year and life, that is a sign that you need to push past that resistance. Whatever's holding you back, whether it's fear of being seen, fear of being judged, whatever that may be, it's important to push past that so you can get to the other side and, and receive the biggest blessing that the Lord has to offer in and surprise yourselves. Like, I want to surprise myself this year. Do the things that I, I, I've said and put in place, like this video right now. This has been such a struggle to actually come and shoot and film. And I'm hoping that I can edit and put it together in a way that I'm proud of to watch back. We have importance and I want to remind myself of that, I guess, in making this video. Regardless, this is just um, I guess like a video diary. It's a letter to myself. You got this.